We're going to show you how to update the Access Points Management VLAN via SmartZone version 5.1 and the CLI. In the description box below, we've included information and links to resources that can assist you. Additionally, please be sure to check out the Ruckus How-To Hub. There you will find great information including KB articles, documents, and videos on all of your favorite Ruckus products. We're always adding new content, so check back often. Now, let's dig in. Changing the management VLAN of an access point, whether we use SmartZone or the access point CLI is pretty simple and straightforward. However, we do need to use a little bit of finesse when we do this because we're gonna have to modify the switch port that the access point is connected to as well. What I mean by that is once we modify the VLAN within SmartZone, SmartZone is gonna push that configuration out to the access point. The access point's gonna accept that configuration and reboot. Once that reboot happens, it's the perfect time to go into the switch, locate the port that the access point's connected to, and then move it to the new VLAN. When you modify the management VLAN of an access point, within SmartZone, you can do it one of three ways. You can do it in the entire zone, so you'll update every single access point's management VLAN that's in that zone, or you can do it per group, which is the same behavior, or you can do it per access point. We're going to show you how to do it per access point, but keep in mind, if you click the edit button on the zone, the group, or the access point, that's where you're going to locate the management VLAN feature. So let's update our VLAN. So we're going to highlight one of our access points and then we're going to navigate up to where it says configure and click there. Now we get this screen that pops up. We're going to scroll down and open advanced options and then scroll down again. Here you can see that you have the AP management VLAN. We're going to override that. We're going to click to select and set a VLAN ID of 1000. We're going to set that and click on OK. Now it's going to warn us that we are going to change this management VLAN. That also means that you have to make changes in the switch, which I discussed earlier. So we'll go ahead and click on Yes. Once we make this change within SmartZone, the access point is going to enter a flag state. So we're going to highlight that access point. We're going to go to events. Here, what we're looking for is we see the top entry says that the access point is being updated to a new configuration. That's perfect. That means that SmartZone is now pushing that new management VLAN out to the access point. Now, this is crucial. We don't want to modify the switch ports VLAN yet because it's still communicating between the access point and smart zone. If we change it, it'll lose connectivity. It won't receive the entire config. You could interrupt it. So what we're going to do is we're going to refresh this events log until we see heartbeat lost, which we see here. And then now that we see the heartbeat is lost, that means that the access point is now offline from smart zone. It's rebooting. So we're going to go ahead and modify that VLAN. We've done that in the background. Now we just need to see the access point come back up online. The speed at which events are happening in the video is going to be misleading because we've obviously edited this just for time. But remember, be patient. These events will update and you will see them happen. You just have to be patient. Refresh the event log, and now we can see that the access points configuration was updated. That's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up. We're going to refresh the access point window, and when we do that, we'll see that the access point now shows online. Now we need to verify the configuration, so we're going to highlight the access point, and then we're going to click on the General tab down below. Once we do that, we'll be able to scroll down, and there it is. We can see that the AP Management VLAN is now 1000. So we created an SSH session to this access point, and we did a get IP adder WAN. It shows the IP address is dynamically assigned and the VLAN assignment that we gave it. Now, if you need to change this back via the CLI, you would type set IP adder WAN VLAN and then the VLAN number. Once you hit enter, it's going to inform you that a reboot is required to take effect, so you'll need to reboot it, and then that's when you would go into your switch port and modify the VLAN membership. Before you leave, don't forget to check the description box below. There you're going to find great resources and information on this topic, and also within the How-To Hub, you're going to find great information and resources on many more. Thanks for watching.